How are you? I'm Bradley, how are you? Good, I'm Sam. Nice Sam, to meet nice you. Nice to see you likewise. Good to see you. Good. A happy, smiley face for once. <laughs> I met the owners earlier and they were down and in the dumps. Are they always like that? Yes, that's an always. Okay, then. let's order. Okay. Gotta go for the stuffed uh, banana peppers. Um, I've gotta try that Italian stuffed filet. Okay, how do you yeah. like it done? Medium rare, please. Okay. Um, Carletta. Mm -hmm. It's our signature sauce. And who came up with that idea? Dino. Dino. Mm -hmm. It Cheers. came Cheers. to him in a dream. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Our claim to fame came in a dream from someone who knows nothing about food or how to prepare it. Flippin' egg. Okay. <laughs> um, gotta go for the chicken carletta, because okay. that's the sauce that was dreamt of one night in his dream. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Absolutely. And it begins. Don't sweat the chef. Do what you guys normally do. What is that, olive oil? Yeah, but it doesn't taste yeah, like no, olive oil. Do you mind if I have a little taste? Go ahead. Oh, it's very watery. It tastes like frying oil. <laughs> it does. Excuse me, sir. Is yes. Tina nearby? Yeah, absolutely. Please, thank you. Wow, that's dreadful. Tina? Chef Ramsey's asking for you at 43. Oh, uh, no. Tina's been such a hands off manager for so many years now that she's become so blase. Yes, sir. Um, and what is that olive oil there? Is that canola oil? No, it's, it's olive oil. Pomsol. Oh, oh, oh. Is that the? Is that what you're serving there? It's that mix. Look at that. Jeez, it smells off. You smell that? What's in there? I don't know. When was the last time they were cleaned? I don't know. You're the front of the house. What a mess. Is the bathroom nearby? I can just yes, clean, wash my hands. To the Please. right. Shit! What happened there? What's that? Tiramisu. Oh, my God. Are they done every day? Probably a couple weeks ago. No, what, is that a fake tumor suit? Like no, you've... it's... That's a real tumor suit? Too. Oh, come on. No, that's... So that's just sat there from fresh. And you said two weeks? No, probably three weeks ago. That is longer than three weeks. This stinks. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Sam. Yes? How long have these desserts been sat here? A couple months. A couple of, couple of months? A couple of months, you yeah. just told me three weeks. No, I would say under a month. It was a couple months. <laughs> Do they stay out all night? Yeah. That is a fucking health hazard. Oh, my God. Shit, my boots. I, I can't, I can't. I can't. Uh, what's uh, dessert? We only have tiramisu, wow. and we are even out of it. For real. <laughs> so you run out of dessert? Yes. Do you have tiramisu? Shots. One dessert, and you run out. Isn't that crazy? We're out of here, so I didn't even know. I really didn't. Pat, two seconds, bud. Quick. I need the manager. The restaurant Austria. Yeah, can you run over there and get me one portion of tiramisu? I am fucking starving. One portion of tiramisu? Quick. Okay. Quick as you can. Where are you going? Get a piece of tiramisu. He's on his way. There he goes. Whose idea was this? No, no, this was your not idea. Not my idea. Your fucking idea. Mama! Bring him a fork. He doesn't like anything. So he's not gonna like that either. Well, hello. Hi. How are you? Good nice to see you. This is my mama. Lena, nice to see you. Excellent. I can't wait to taste that. Uh, grazie mille. Right. Can I just quickly say hello to Mum again? Come on, Mum. God, you're going to get yelled at. I'm yes, so sir. scared. Oh, God. Mama. First, I need to do something. Oh, Bellissimo. Oh, huh? oh, delicious. Oh, <laughs> my God. He likes that Mom. Is Thank God. Thank he likes you so something. Much. I mean, amazing. Whose recipe is that? Your recipe? Really good. Where's the chitlins at? It's in a microwave. They're delicious. If we get one out of three, we might be all right. And this is the chitlins and okra. OK. Chitlets. I mean, I know chitlets are the intestine, but should they really stink? 
before I do taste them, I'd like to have pray to God before I put any of that in my mouth. <laughs> In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, you are blessed. <laughs> we rebuke the spirit of the devil. Yeah. You are prayed over. We guarantee you that you are not about to succumb to those chitlins. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> I just had to pray over Chef before he ate the chitlins. What the fuck? There's no prayers going to save me on this one. Oh my God. Oh, chitlins. Chitlins. I need the toilet, excuse me. I knew they'd come out quicker than they went in. Chef Ramsey is a mess. Oh, it's chitlins and gross. <laughs> he's looking back to throw one up. Throw one up? Holy crap. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Oh, they stink. Oh. <laughs> Shall it be taking it lightly and not seriously at all? Is he in the children's bathroom? I'm not sure, but I guess with a prayer didn't work. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. He's not used to that soul food, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I want to see what's going on. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> so we've got the red velvet. velvet. Mom Mary makes all of our desserts. Mom Mary. Yes. Wow. Thank you, babe. You're welcome. Mm. Wow. That is delicious. Finally. Some good fucking food. Wow. How do you like this? Yeah, it's delicious. Well done. Wow. I had to wait to the end. I've been saved by Mother Mary. Of course, the red velvet that Mommy makes is going to be beautiful, right? Because Mommy made it. I'm going to punch him in the face. You watch and see. Just show me into the kitchen, please. Yes, Thank you. I sure will. Yep. The chef is on his way back. I'm scared. I would, I would, I'm scared to bring him here. Shelly doesn't listen. When Ramsey gets back there in the kitchen, we'll see if she even opens up to any suggestions or not. Hi, how are you? How are you? Nice to meet you. Mateen. Mateen, good yes, to see you, buddy. Good to see you, sir. Likewise. Portia. How are you? Sir. Pleasure. Uh, this is Tyrone. Oh, that's Tyrone. Tyrone. Nice to meet you. Likewise, good to see you, buddy. Uh, so, I just had an embarrassing lunch. Let's start from the top. Pork chop, dry, bland, no seasoning, and the macaroni cheese was an embarrassment. The fried collard greens, there's no seasoning. Everything's just fried, so it just tasted of oil. And horrible. The chitlins, but the smell of them almost made me want to gag. I absolutely do not believe that there's that much wrong with my food. Who is the head chef here? I am. Show me tonight. OK. Or you think you are the head chef. All right. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm Ralphie, how are you? Good. I'm Fran. I'm Fran, nice to see you, darling. What'd you do? I oh, just showed the desserts to oh, the Oh, OK, let's, let's have a look. Show right. me. Wow, so they showcase the desserts. Mmm. So this is our desserts. Everything's made here, fresh on premise. Right, so, jeez, uh, what is that? It's butter. It's, oh, it's butter? Yeah, just to display Oof. as the ice cream. And that, uh, that mold on there, can you show that? No, the butter's on top, so it covers that. And that bit there? Yeah. And Fabio, you're the general manager, right? So you've got no idea of this. We're presenting those moldy bits of shit, and it's stuck with butter on top. Now, That's those what? are just for display. Hold on, hold on. For... Because they're for display, you've got the right to cake them in mold and serve customers a display that's full of mold. So we're supposed to, like, put a fresh one every day so we can throw it out? Are you kidding me? What do you think? I think that, you know, as long as it's, I mean, it's fresh, it's good. I mean, you, but I wouldn't, but I wouldn't. Are you, I mean, have you lost the plot? No, I haven't. No. It's changed no, colors it's... four times, and it absolutely reeks. All I'm saying is that this is for display. We're not serving it. So do the customers deserve a display that's full of shit? Oh my God, he's ripping into him. He's ripping into him, man. Look at this mess. Oh my God. That, it must be two months old. It's probably a few days old. A few days? 
Uh, we don't serve it. It's for presentation. I'm aware you're not serving it. Thank fuck Gold Star. Congratulations on that one. That's, uh, that's a big breakthrough with you. That's why you're here. Excuse me? That's why you're here. I'm here to tell you that that's shit, and you no. shouldn't be presenting it. No, you I'm don't know the difference between mold and fresh? It's for presentation only. Give me two seconds. I need to clean my hands. I'm caked in mold. I've got disgusting butter, and I've got fucking hands full of pus. Oh, my God. Christ almighty. You got to tell with Codeine? No. <laughs> He's going to come throw it at us. I'd rather him throw it at us than we serve it to him. The patata? Thank you. You're welcome. I don't know. It's bland. I mean, really bland. And visually, it looks like someone's just eating that whole dessert tray and it shot out twice as quick as it went in. Laurie, it's just bland. I mean, really bland. I'll let them know. And is this frozen because there's a grainy potato flavor inside that... I don't think anything's frozen here. Yeah, so the tortellini aren't frozen. I'll double check. Thank you, though. Uh-oh. He said it was very, very bland. He asked if the, um, the tortellini were frozen. I wasn't sure if they were frozen or not. He's right. All our pasta is fresh frozen. That's the most mind-boggling thing in this place. We make everything and then freeze it. Chef, the Twitter leadies are frozen. Oh, they are frozen? They are. So you advertise you're making it daily, but you freeze it daily. Something's wrong big time. Thank you, though. Wow. They said the Twitter leadies is frozen. I, I, I can't, I didn't even know this shit. Me either, I thought everything was like fresh. It makes no sense. What, to make it fresh and then freeze it? And then freeze it. It makes no sense. Boiled mm. shrimp. Thanks, Tony. My first Louisiana shrimp. Yeah, everything's soft. They should peel easily and sort of pop out the shell, but I'm struggling to peel them. Mm. I mean, that is nasty. What I'm struggling for here is the lack of freshness. They feel and taste slightly mushy, which is a big disappointment. Candice, where are the shrimps fresh? They're fresh frozen. They're fresh frozen. frozen. I know it's kind of an oxymoron. But you can buy fresh shrimp yes. within a mile from Yes, yes. The frozen shrimp tastes like shit. Sorry. Crap. <laughs> he wanted to know why we would get frozen shrimp when you can go to, like, the market and get them fresh every day. It's not uncommon to have frozen shrimp because some things are OK frozen. How we look on the oysters? Coming right now. All right. Wow, that back wall is hideous. What a mess. You got two seconds, please? Yes. And what's with the uh, the swamp decor? <laughs> Whose idea was that? Um, mine and my husband's. To eat in a swamp? For children or for adults? For both. For both. For both. Oyster Cortello. That's not worth me. All right, here we go. Okay, thank you. All right. What the hell is that? These are the oysters cortello. Oysters cortello. So I suppose you go like that. Wow, they're dreadful. Oysters named after the owner. I certainly wouldn't put my name on that. I wouldn't even put my enemy's name on that. Take it for you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. That's depressing, isn't it? Oysters Cortello, I don't know what to say about that. I eat them myself. I think they're delicious. Absolutely delicious. Now, what do you say? Oysters Cortello just ain't working. This is killing me not to know what he's saying. This is the fried chicken steak, right? Correct. Thank you. You're welcome. Bland as anything. No seasoning, no care. Look at that. Ugh. Candice, what the hell is that? It looks like it's just had a giraffe's tongue cut out and deep fat fried. People complain that the quality of the food here is horrible. Unbelievable. Daryl's not listening to the feedback that he gets, and he's going to do what he wants to do. Daryl. Yep. He said that it looks like somebody cut out a giraffe's tongue, battered and fried it. I'm not going to agree with that. It didn't look that way to me. I mean, that's what normally goes out. It's a good product. So it looked like we cut out a giraffe's tongue. Wow, wow, wow. Jesus. Thanks, Tony. Doesn't look fantastic. 
it tastes delicious. Who made that? Emil, it makes it. Mm -mm -mm. I'm just so happy that Chef Ramsay likes the bread pudding. It feels great to end on a good note. Love the bread pudding. You like the bread pudding? There we go. Loved it. I took full responsibility for bread pudding. That is all me. Daryl doesn't really have influence on that. Thank God. Thank God he likes something I did. But, uh, is that ready to go out, man? No, sir. Display purposes only. Seriously? What the fuck is that? It's apple cobbler. When was that made? Well, it's anyone's guess, Chef. I mean, not more than a week ago. And... Holy shit. That's a, uh... A molten lava cake? A molten lava cake? Yeah. No, a molten yeah. rock. Yeah. Lava rock. Well, so okay. what'd you do with that? What? Did you play well, ice hockey? No, that's, again, display purposes only. Right off the bat, we, we were in the shits right off the bat. Why would we even think about going to a customer with something a week old? Oh, we should have. Thank you, Chris. Brian. Yes. No, that doesn't look good at all. I agree. Yeah. It's disgusting. Yeah. Hello? Get rid of it. OK. Yeah. As tensions mount in the kitchen, customers are about to celebrate one of the most romantic nights of the year. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. So food sat up there, nobody taking it. All right, hit the bell. What? Come on, guys, huh? Whew. At least you don't work for a moment. I could never. <laughs> no way. No fucking way. I think after the first day, I would just leave and never come back. I wouldn't care if I didn't get him paid. <laughs> Chef Ramsay telling me that, you know, we do things the wrong way just doesn't really work for me. Oh, my God. Ryan. Yes. Two seconds. And he, like, never shuts up. <laughs> who's checking this stuff? Does, does this guy just send food out? Yeah. But who's checking it? Nobody's checking it. Nobody, no. OK. There's lettuce all fucking rotten there. Yeah? Lettuce rotten there. Fist, you got to pick through the lettuce yeah. better. I really am trying to. Like, I'm not well, even... These ones are no good with the rotten lettuce. Let's just go. Oh, fuck me. Where's this coming from? Jesus Christ almighty. Sir, has it been washed? I did not wash that. No. I did not know. We don't wash spinach? We get it pre-washed. You get it pre-washed? That's the first. Oh. Look, every time I dig my hand in, it's all rotten. And it just do just you. Toss it. Yeah, it's gross. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't toss it. Why don't you eat it? No, I'd rather not. You'd I rather not. I wouldn't eat it. But you charge people for it. OK, there you go. You shouldn't, this shouldn't be sent out. No. You should open your fucking eyes. We'll try to fix whatever issues we have, but I can't. I'm not going to cry in the corner about it. You know, life goes on. So. Upon further investigation. Oh, my god. Gordon discovers that something is missing from the display-only dessert tray. Have we served that dessert on there? Yeah. There we are. That dessert's been served from there. That's no good. 